Hi, welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. Um, this is a request for a ribbon sculpture with um, ballet slippers. So, I'm going to show you all how to make these cute little ballet slippers and I'll also show you how to make the tool background. You don't have to put the tool back there, you could just put the ballet slippers right on an alligator clip and use it that way. But I'll also show you how to put the tool back there. I would have liked to have had like a pink tool or something to put back there, but all I have is white. So I'll show you how to do that after I show you how to make the slippers. So what you're going to need is going to be 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon, and you'll need two 4 inch pieces two three and a half inch pieces and two three inch pieces and that'll make this size ballet slippers if you want to go smaller you just adjust your measurements equally over all of those measurements like if you wanted to go one size smaller you would go if half inch down three and a half three and then two and a half excuse me <coughs> got a frog in my throat Okay, and that's how you would go down. If you want to go up, you do the same thing. Just whatever you add or subtract from one measurement, do the same thing to the others, and that'll adjust the size. Okay, and also you're going to need one eighth inch satin ribbon. I'm using quarter inch satin ribbon here because it's all I had, but you really, it doesn't show the, the, the little um, ribbons across the slippers. It doesn't show as good as I would like it to. If you used eighth inch instead of the quarter inch it would show much better it would be skinnier and all that but you can use whatever you like but I am showing you with the quarter inch ribbon all right and you're gonna need one and a half inch pieces of that eighth or quarter inch ribbon you're gonna need four of those so that's gonna be this right here there's one two I've already made one whole slipper to speed along this then you'll need a little matching bow however you want to put a bow up here and then if you want the tool, you're going to need 12 inches of 6 inch wide tool. Which is, it comes on a roll. And it's like this. And when I show you all how to make this, I'm probably going to switch to a black background. So you can see better, since I'm working with that white. But anyway, to start off with, I'm going to show you how to make the belly slippers. Okay. So... They're really, really simple. It's a really simplified project. And y'all do realize that if you make these for one little girl that's in a ballet class, every little girl in that ballet class is going to want one. So you just choose the color that you want your ballet slippers to be, okay? Then we're going to take the 4 inch piece, take the 3 and a half inch piece, and you're just going to stack them and glue them at the top up here. So just put some glue. Don't forget to heat seal all the edges. Just take your source of fire, run it across the tops of all these. I've already heat sealed everything here. Um, you'll need hot glue and scissors and measuring tape and all that. Okay, so you just glue that one on top of that and then take your smallest piece, your three inch piece, and glue it right on top of that. Now you've got them all stacked here, one, two, three, with the shortest. Now you take the bottom of the top one here, the bottom of the ribbon, and you just fold it straight up and glue it right there. We're just turning everything back around. So just fold that up and glue it right there. And we're just making these loops and you can kind of pull down on these loops because we want to give it the oblong look you don't want to really pinch and crease that end right there but just you know smooth over it make it look oblong take your next layer and pull it up and glue it in the same place and 
Next layer up. And then do the same thing with that one, just make it that oblong look. Just make it a rounded down the end. Now take the last one, do the same thing. Okay. Put that up here at the top. And then smooth that one out to give it a point also. Okay, and now you've got when you turn it sideways like this, you've got the little slipper. Okay. Now to put these little ribbons right here on your eighth inch or quarter inch ribbon. Okay. This is easier said than done, but what you're going to want to do is just find where you want to put it, where you want the crossover to be, and glue it up here on the top. And since I've already done one, once you do one, then you'll want to make sure that you're getting them even. So you just line them up together, and you can see that I'm putting it in almost the exact spot. Because you want them to be nice and symmetrical. So you just hold it right there, put a little glue in the back. Now you got the one on that side. Okay, now turn it over. Put one on this side. Same place. Only on the opposite side. So you want to be sure and line it up right so that it's even. Like that. Now it's just about right. Before you glue. You can line them up. Yep, that's just about right. Okay. I don't recommend letting it go and eyeballing it. Once you get it in the right spot, hold it down and work your glue up underneath it there. Don't burn yourself. Okay. Okay. Now we've got the top ones on. Now you just fold it down. You can fold that one up out of the way for right now. Take this one, fold it across, and find where you want to put it on this side. Again, since I've already done one, I'm just going to check it out, make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. And not quite, right there would be the right spot. So, once it's there, and again, it's okay to pinch it lightly down here at the bottom where those are. You just really don't want to crease those little loops, but pinching it is okay. Okay. You got that one. Now cross this one over the top of it and put it in the exact same spot on this side. Okay. Get it all lined up and then make sure that you're in the right spot. Oops. There. Yep. Right there would be just about right. And then you've got your pair of ballet slippers. You want to get them to the right size together like that. See how the bows came out just perfect? Now you just take them and take the tops where you stacked all those ribbons up here, not the curvy end, but the top. And make sure they're both facing forward and glue them straight together right there at the top. Okay? So just put some glue in there, glue them straight together. Okay. And 
get everything straight and you can always give them a good little fluff and then you know pet them make sure they're happy <laughs> get them in good spot okay there's the ballet slippers now you put your bow that you've made and this is a simple bow this is four inches of ribbon and this is the pattern ribbon and you just take this and take the four inches of ribbon do a, an awareness fold I've showed you all how to do this before you do an awareness fold you clip it on and then you tie your string in the middle with your alligator clip there on and then you tie your string in the middle and it comes out just a simplified bow you can put whatever kind of fancy bow you want on here okay so just take right here on the top put some glue and put your bow on to cover that right up there at the top okay and there you have ballet slippers now if you have a partially lined alligator clip you can put them right on there and that's the simplified version if you want the tool background I'm going to show you how to do that now but there's the ballet slippers like that okay to do the tool background it's really simple you just get yourself some tool I'm going to pop this black in here so you can actually see the white tool that I'm going to be working with this is a folder but anyway, okay, now you need 12 inches of white tool. Make sure this is in focus. Okay, so you got 12 inches of tool, and you take it and you just fold it in half, okay, and you line up your edges over here on this side okay and no matter how much you try you're not going to be able to get them perfect on the ends so once you get them lined up just get them between your fingers right there find your shortest piece and then give it a straight across cut now once you cut it don't let it go because you'll never get it lined up again so you take the piece that we just folded in half and cut and then you fold it in half one more time and get that even okay and then once you fold that in half again then you can pinch the center alright you'll find the center and use one of those alligator clips to just pinch it on there find the center of it now we need some thread just get some good strong thread or some embroidery um, thread or something. All right, I'm just gonna slide that down a little bit so I can get that thread in back right there. All right, and then slide it forward. Put it in right here. Okay. Same way I made that ribbon. All right. When you find the center, make sure you're pinching it at the center. Move it around until you find it. Just give it a tug right there to see if you're centered. I'm not. <laughs> I guess I probably was better centered the first time. There, that'll work. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Go a little bit more this way. Okay, that works. Sure, why not? Well, whether it's centered or not, that's where it's getting tied. So once you find it, where you want to tie it off, then just tie it in the back. You are going to need three hands just like on the bows make sure it's tightening in there okay and give it a really good tug get it as tight as you can in that middle part right there okay and then you can take it off and grab it 
so that it's your thread doesn't pop loose. Alright. Now I usually grab this with my teeth and pull. Makes it so much easier. But my teeth aren't on the camera. So I'll put it to it that way. Okay. Once you get that tied, then just give it a couple more loops. Make sure it's tied good. Alright. Then get rid of your excess string. Okay. Now what you want to do, okay, is cut open these loops. So you take and get something to go all the way through, maybe not your scissors because they're kind of sharp and you might poke a hole in your tool, but you want to get in between the loops, work it until you find the center of all of that that we just did. And there it is right there. And then once you get the center, you can stick your finger through it and then get your scissors in there. And then pull it up to the top and just cut that itch. Okay? Then you do the same thing on this side. You've already got half of them cut on this side because the way we folded it in half. So you got half of those cut. You just need to cut that one right there. So once you find the center, just give it a cut at the top up there. All right. Now you can fluff it. Okay. And if one side is shorter than the other side, you can trim it up. Just give your tool a good fluff. It's my phone. I got an email. Just give all those layers a fluff. Pull at them and get them where you want them. Okay. And once you get them pretty much fluffed out, make sure that everything looks even. Now you can take your ballet slippers and glue them right in the middle. So just put some glue right over the top of that string that you used right there. And take the back right there and just glue them right in there. Right to that piece of puffy tool. Hold it down for a few seconds until it dries. Then fluff it some more until you get it how you want it. And these two pieces are going this way. If you wanted to absolutely fill in the top part right here, just make another one of these and then glue it going up and down to the back of this. And then it would be perfectly even all the way across. But you really can work with this and get it to fill in the gaps up here at the top. I do have one side that's slightly longer than the other, but it's alright. Okay. Then once you get that fluffed however much you want it, okay. Alright. And there's, there it is. So once you get it fluffed however much you want it, you take a partially lined alligator clip and line it in a color that matches, okay? And you can glue it directly to the ribbon on the partially lined alligator clip. And then you would have a clippy. You could also make this a pin for your shirt or how, whatever you want to do with it. But there's how you make ballet slippers with tool background. Thank y'all so much for watching, and y'all have a great day.